In today's video, I will teach you how to align layers in GIMP. Let's get started. Aligning layers in GIMP is crucial for precise composition and organization. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how you align layers in GIMP. First, launch GIMP and open the project or image that contains the layers that you want to align. In the toolbox, select the Alignment tool, or simply use the shortcut key Q to quickly switch to the Alignment tool. With the Alignment tool selected, click on the layers that you would like to align while holding down the Shift key to select multiple layers. Now, go to the Tool Options at the bottom of the toolbox. Choose the alignment type you want from the drop-down menu. For example, align left edges. However, this process is pretty outdated, so it can be a little bit confusing at times. But the alignment tool is one of the few tools that allows you to select and edit multiple layers at once. But multiple selection method is also available in GIMP. To do this, make sure that all the layers that you would like to align are visible. So go over the Layers panel. If the Layers panel is not visible, simply go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, then click Layers to open it. And make sure that the eye icon is toggled right beside the layers that you would like to align. Now, go to the menu bar, go to Image, then Align Visible Layers. In the Align Visible Layers dialog box, there are multiple parameters that you can adjust. So just customize all of the parameters based on the design that you're looking for. You can also adjust the grid size in order to separate images. You also have the option to ignore the bottom layer even if it's visible. And you also have the option to use the invisible bottom layer as the base. And once you're satisfied with all the parameters, you can now click OK. If you need further adjustments, you can manually move the layers or repeat the alignment process. Now you've successfully aligned layers in GIMP, ensuring a neat and organized layout for your projects. This is particularly useful when you're working with multiple elements in a design or composition. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.